Illinois. Mr. Kissinger, five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, when we look at what are some of the most important uh, issues facing our country today, obviously economy comes uh, very first. Uh, next, we talk about energy. We talk about spending and we talk about national security, all very important. You know, one of the nexus between economy and between national defense is energy and our lack of energy here at home. Yesterday, the president's own jobs council called for an all-in approach to energy policy that includes expanded oil and gas drilling, as well as expediting energy projects like pipelines. The report stated that the council recognizes the important safety and environmental concerns surrounding these types of projects, but now more than ever, the jobs and economic and energy security benefits of these energy projects require us to tackle the issues head on and to expeditiously, though cautiously, move forward on projects that can support hundreds of thousands of jobs. The Keystone XL pipeline does just that. This pipeline would directly create 20,000 American jobs in manufacturing and construction and 118,000 total jobs. In addition, we would see 830,000 barrels of safe and secure oil each day from our friends to the north, which means we'll need less oil from countries we can no longer rely on and are not friendly to the interests of the United States. Caterpillar, a leading manufacturer from my home state, supports securing stable and affordable energy from, North America, from a North American ally through the Keystone XL pipeline and urges approval of this pipeline. Daniel McCollin, the global pipeline general manager for Caterpillar, said, Considering the economic and energy security benefits of these vital resources, we should continue to expand America's access to safe, affordable energy to help ensure improved domestic and global energy security and stable prices for consumers. Pipelines are a critical part of our energy infrastructure, and additional pipeline capacity will help consumers and businesses throughout the United States. There's a lot of talk of the need for bipartisanship today. There's a lot of talk for the need to unite different factions of people uh, into one common goal for our country. And, and I agree that uh, when you look at this project, the Keystone Pipeline, it has bipartisan support. There were Democrats that supported this bill as well as Republicans and something that I believe we should move forward on as a country. Manufacturers and unions are are, and union organizations are united alike in supporting this project. Last summer, the State Department announced the extension that this extension had passed extensive environmental reviews. But President Obama has already stalled for more than 26 days to make a decision on the Keystone XL pipeline. The fact is that somebody will benefit from oil out of Alberta, Canada. If it's not the United States, it will be China, unless we take immediate action to expand the Keystone XL pipeline, and it'll be American businesses and consumers who will suffer the consequences from our inaction. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an Air Force pilot. I've been overseas. I've fought in these wars, and I can tell you, as much as I think we're doing the right thing, one thing we can do is to reduce our reliance on foreign oil so that when Iran threatens to close the Straits of Hormuz, it means nothing to the energy security of this country and just simply leads to what that's going to mean for them. I strongly urge President Obama to immediately support this job-creating bipartisan project. The time to act is now. And I yield back.